kuna mtumishi mmoja anaitwa Ezekia. There is one servant of God called Ezekia. Wakati maadui wanamtishia maisha. When his enemies rose against him. Akamchukua mtumishi mmoja wapo anaitwa Isaya nabii. He took one of his servants called Isaiah. Akajua mimi siwezi nikashinda vita bila Mungu. And he knew that I cannot overcome this battle without God. Akajua Mungu ndio aliyemuita. And he knew God had called him. Akaona mfalme wa sana karibu jinsi anavyo mnenea maneno mabaya na kumchafua kila mahali. And he saw the king of Sennacherib the way he had spoken many evil words against him. Wasomaji wa Biblia sasa ni karibu aliamua kufanya nini? And the Bible says what did Sennacherib decide to do? Mfalme Sennacherib alikuwa na majeshi yake. Sennacherib had his own army. Alikuwa ni mtawala aliyetengwa na Mungu kimadhabahu kutawala Israeli. He was a, a leader who has been arrested so that he can be able to lead Israel. Angeweza kupanga majeshi yake wakapigana wale maadui wa, wa mfalme wa Sennacherib. He could be able to plan his army well so that he can be able to fight with the army of Sennacherib. Sennacherib mfalme wa Ashuru. Sennacherib the, uh, the, the, the king of Assyria. Si tunasoma haya katika wafalme wa, wa pili sura ya 32 mstari ule wa 17 na kuendelea. We read this in 2 Kings chapter 32. Si ni sawa? Yes. Lakini tunaona mfalme huyu. But we see this king. Kwa sababu alijua Mungu ndio aliyemuita. Because he knew that it is God who had called him. Aliondoka akaenda nyumbani mwa Mungu. He left and he went to the house of God. Akachukua ule wa haraka anayetukanwa. And he he took the scroll of Akaratibu the prophecies. Kila maneno aliyomtukana. And he wrote all those words which had been uh, spoken karibu, to him. Mpaka sare karibu mfalme wa Ashuru aliyomtukana Mungu wa Israeli. And, uh, the ways and Akarib had abused the God of Israel akaenda akapiga magoti kwa Mungu wake mbele ya madhabahu and he went and knelt before his god on the altar biblia nasema akatandaza ule wa haraka mbele za bwana the bible says that he announced that which had been written against him before A- god akamlilia mungu he cried to god kwa nini namlilia mungu na wewe umekabidhiwa inchi na una majeshi why should he cry to god and he had the whole army una makamanda You have the commanders in chief. Na wewe ni mtu mkubwa. And you are a big man. Alijua nani aliyemtoa chini mpaka kamweka kuwa mfalme. He knew that ni, whoever had called him to and caused him to be the king. Hakuangalia cheo chake. He never looked at his position. Angalia akakuangalia vipawa na karama Mungu alivyomtumia. He never looked at the gifts that God had used him with. Angalia hakuangalia ukubwa wa watu alionao. He never looked at the army that he had. Alijua vita vyetu ni katika Bwana. He knew that his his battle is against the world. Aliziumba mbingu na nchi. Yeah, the, the God who created the heavens and the earth. Akavunjika moyo. He broke himself before God. Mbele za Mungu. Before the presence of God. Akamaonyesha matusi ya hao watu. He showed God all the abuses. Akamaonyesha anavyodharau. And he showed him all the way he had been abused. Akamwambia Mungu tafanya nini kwa ajili ya utumishi huu na kwa ajili ya nchi yako? He told God, look at this it is because of the nation and your servants. Akagusa moyo wa Mungu. He touched the heart of God. Nilikwambia unyenyekevu wa kumtafuta mapenzi ya Mungu. Humility that seeks the will of God. Ndiko uliko ushindi wa watumishi wa Mungu. That where the victory of the servants of God is. Hata kama unakaa chini ya mti. Even if you stay under a tree. Hata kama una kanisa la kupangisha ndani ya nyumba. Even if your church you are renting. Hata kama una kanisa mjini au mashambani. Even if you are in the city or you are in the farms. Lazima ujue ushindi wako. You will know you have to know where your victory Lazima is. Lazima uwe unavunjika mbele za Mungu. You have to learn how to break yourself before God. Ndipo Biblia nasema Mungu akajibu. That when God answered. Akatuma malaika. And he sent his utukufu wa Mungu liwe waajabu. Aka Biblia nasema wao wanamlilia Mungu Biblia nasema wakalia hata mbinguni. They cried until the heavens were able to hear. Mfalme analia hata mbinguni. A king is crying until heavens hear. Watumishi leo sisi tunalia hata mbinguni tikisike. Servants of God are we crying until heavens. Watumishi leo wamejaa maandiko. And the servants of God are full of scriptures. Wamejaa kutafuta vitu vinavyowasaidia. They are seeking for things which can help them. Kumbe tuna Aswa sisi kulia hata mbinguni. We need to cry until the heavens will Lipo be able to answer. Mbingu ikashuka. So the heavens came down. Mbingu iliposhuka Biblia inaniambia hivi. When the heavens came down the Bible tells me. Bwana akatuma malaika zake. The Lord sent his angels. Wakashuka wakamkatilia majeshi ya mfalme wa Ashuru sene karibu. They came against now the army of Ashur. Akawaangamiza na serikali akakimbia akaenda kwenye miungu yake. They 
finish the army and then Sennacherib ran away to the abode. He went to hell where by the devil was giving him power. When he went to hell, the devil also refused to he say that I'm going to help you. This one is bad. I'm not going to help you. Why? It's because the altar has been dedicated to He has realized his position. And that God when he comes down, I am also destroyed. And I wait for my people to be destroyed. Akaenda kwenye mizimu yake. He went before his God. Mungu akamwambia mimi siogopi mzimu wala kuzimu hata kuzimu yenyewe mimi nimemtengenezea shetani. Even in the devil the, the devil the hell has been made for the devil. Watumishi sikilizeni. Listen to me servants of God. Hata kuzimu yenyewe. Even the, the hell has Aliko been made. Aliko huyu shetani. Whatever the devil is. Ni Mungu ametengeneza. It is God who has made that. Akamfunga huko. And he was uh, usiogope. We are not supposed to fear. Siku moja shetani ananitokea kanaambia siku ukikosea kidogo na kuua na mimi nikamwambia siku ukikosea kidogo kaka upande wangu Mungu anakumaliza Sema mimi na kama unanielewa Yana ngoja ni nikosee kwa nini haja nikamata wakati nikiwa hata sijulikani The devil is waiting to hold to get hold of me How can never aja, get hold of, of me when I Kwa nini haja kuharibu wakati ambapo ndio wito unaanza Why the devil why should the devil destroy you even when the calling is starting? Kwani haja kuharibu wakati hata huduma ilikuwa haijulikani. Or maybe when the, the ministry has been known all over. Usitishwe na shetani. You should not be threatened by Satan. Yeye ni baba wa uongo. He is the father of all life. Alikuwa mwongo tangu mwanzo. He was a liar from the beginning. Kwa sababu hakusimama kwenye hiyo kweli. Because he never stood at the truth. Sema amina kama unanielewa Bwana. Mungu na majeshi yake akamfuata mpaka kwenye nyumba ya miungu yake. So the God followed him until in the house of his gods. Nafikiri sasa hiyo Mungu anapopita mapepo yanakaa pembeni na mwambia baba hey, hey, yanatete. So unajua gani yanatetemeka mbele ya Mungu? At that time the demons are shaking because they are fearing now. Yeye akaambia mie najua mmelaaniwa. Yuko wapi yule kiongozi wenu ambaye alikuwa ananitukana huko? Mhm. Akasema So they asked for the leader who had been abusing the god of the heavens. Akasema yuko hapo. Yuko hapo na sujudu sujudu. Na nasema na sisi tumemwaacha. Sasa watoto wake Bibi anasema akawakamata watoto wake. The Bible says he got hold of the children. Watoto wa Senakaribu mfalme wa Ashur. The king of Assyria. Bibi ananaambia walio toka viunoni mwake. The Bible says they who came from his royal. Wale ndio wakakaa kinyume wakamuua baba yao. They, they, they killed their own father. Uwepo wa Mungu unapofunika kila kitu kinakufa kilichokuwa kimegukalia. Servants of God when you pray everything will have to obey. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.